Alright, it's been a minute since I recorded a video, so I'm a little nervous, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. Hello, hello friends, it's Meg and welcome to another video. It's been a minute since I made a video, so I might be a little bit rusty. I just ask that you're patient with me as I re-get into producing videos and yeah, getting into the groove of things. I think this is gonna be kind of a ranty video just because I'm, you know, getting back into the groove of things, but also because I'll be talking about something that I'm excited about and that is stationery. So in recent years, I think within, you know, bullet journal communities and like stationery communities, online Japan has started to become more and more well known as like a great place to get good stationery and as someone who grew up in Japan I often took for granted the selection of stationery that I had living in Japan but having been away for two two three years and then coming back I have like a newfound appreciation for like just the quality and the, the sheer amount of like really niche but like really nice stationery and I used to be obsessed with stationery in the past but I feel like being away and coming back and like really realizing how amazing Japanese stationery is has just been like a reigniting of like a past obsession that I had and it's been an exciting process because I get to like interact with a lot of the stationery that I'm interested in but it has been kind of bad on my wallet because I just keep buying things that I don't necessarily need but like they're nice to have and and so, you know, it, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because on the one hand, I'm back in Japan where I can really interact with like as much stationery as I want and like really, you know, just enjoy my hobby as like a stationery enthusiast slash addict but it has been terrible for my wallet because individual things are not that expensive in japan which is why it's dangerous because it adds up really quickly because you're like oh this and this and this and like get this in different colors and all of this stuff and then you're just like wait like i spent a hundred dollars this month on stationery type of thing i didn't actually spend a hundred dollars i think but um i'm not gonna check because i'm a little scared that maybe i did spend a hundred dollars on stationery we're not gonna think about that. So I've thought a little bit about like how I want to organize this and I think the best way to is to just talk about what I'm excited about in no particular order. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first category I wanna start with is notebooks. And as you can tell from the fact that I have so many of them, I am addicted mostly to notebooks, I think. But yeah, I tried many notebooks and recently I've come across something that I really, really like and I feel like really meets my needs in many ways. And that notebook is the Stalogy 365 notebooks. I have two on me at the moment. Um, I have the A5 size, which I started out in and now I'm in the B6 size. All right, so what do I love about this notebook? I think first and foremost, my favorite thing about this notebook is just the paper quality. I really love the texture of the notebook. It's just really smooth and the pen feels like it's gliding on ice in like a good way. The second thing that I love about this notebook is the number of pages. As the name suggests, there are 365 plus pages in this notebook because it's meant to be used as like a diary of sorts, I think, where you use one page per day. I don't use it like that, but it's just nice to have that many pages in such a compact notebook. Another thing I absolutely love about this notebook is the grid. It's very light. As you can see, it's very light grid and it gives just enough guidance to allow me to write kind of straight without it being too obstructive visually. And so I can feel free to like write diagrams, really break out of the line structure without feeling like I'm ruining the aesthetic of the page, if that makes sense. Although this notebook is really like the perfect fit for what I'm looking for currently in my notebook setup right now, there are some things to consider if you're looking into purchasing the notebook for yourself. The first thing is that even though the page quality, like the paper quality is amazing, the pages are pretty thin. So the pages do ghost a lot. Uh, I recommend that if there's any way for you to try testing out this notebook, you do so and figure out if you're okay with the amount of ghosting it has because depending on who you are, I think it might bother you. It doesn't bother me because I kind of like the way that it ghosts. As you can see, like you can 
see what's on the other side of the page, but it's not too bad, I think. It doesn't bother me personally, but I know it, it can bother some people. And if you use a lot of markers and colors, this paper doesn't really handle markers very well. It does definitely bleed through to the other side. So can't recommend for people who uses a lot of colors and uh, markers. Another thing to consider is if you are looking to carry this notebook around with you to, to school or to work and stuff like that, there is no band closure on this notebook built in. And so you would either have to like DIY a solution or just use it without a band closure. And that's fine for me because I work mostly from home. And so, you know, I don't have to carry it around as much, but if you are someone who goes out and about a lot and you need the band closure to make sure that the notebook, you know, like stays closed in your bag, that might be something you consider because this one does not come with that. The next object that I want to talk about are pens. And in order for me to explain why I like the pen that I'm currently using so much, I want to get into a little bit of the background of how I got to this pen in the first place. So in the beginning, I used to use the Acroball ballpoint pen from Pilot. I used to use this oil-based ink formula ballpoint pen in my bullet journals and in anything really. Whenever I would write in like a notebook or on paper, I would use this pen. And I really liked it because it writes really smoothly and it's just a really nice writing experience, but I just really disliked how the ink, because it's oil-based, would have like a shiny, glossy finish to it after you've written it. It does prevent smearing, so if you write quickly or if you need to like write quickly and close the notebook quickly, it handles that very well. But I just really didn't like how like shiny the ink looked after you wrote on the paper. And so in order to fix that problem, I moved on to use a fountain pen. And this is the Lamy Safari fountain pen in white. And I really liked this pen. It was really easy to write with and it solved the problem that I had with this pen, which was that the ink was matte with the fountain pen that I was using. So that was really exciting and that was fun. But the problem I had with the fountain pen was the fact that because the ink took so long to dry, I would often smear it on the pages or if I closed my notebook too quickly, it would transfer to the other side of the page. And I'm an impatient person and I really loved the writing experience of the fountain pen, but I just did not possess the patience to be able to use it in my daily notebooks and just function with it in an everyday use capacity. And so those were the problems I had with my previous pens. Cue my current pen the Uniball 1. So this is the Uniball 1 pen. This is not actually the model that I use right now, but this is like the most standard version of the pen. And I instantly fell in love with this pen because it solved both of the problems that I had with the previous two pens that I was using. First of all, it writes really smoothly, which you know, is a must. It uses a gel formula for the ink, which allows the ink to be matte when it dries down, which I was like, great. This is exactly what I was looking for. And it dries really fast. So it solved both of my problems, right? I was like, oh my gosh, I love this pen. And I got it in a bunch of different colors and decided to invest in a fancier body. This is the Uniball 1F body. The ink inside is exactly the same as the normal one. It's just the body is a little nicer and you can choose the color of the body. So I chose this kind of sage green type of color. I really like it and that worked great. But then when I was looking for the ink cartridge, I met this guy, which is the Uniball 1P, which again, uses the same ink cartridge. So all three of these guys, they use this exact same ink cartridge. Their body just looks different. And this guy, as you can tell, is a little bit smaller than the rest. And I have no defense for why I bought this pen, except for the fact that it's really cute and just, just look at it, it's so cute. How could you not? I ended up talking about the notebook and the pen for a lot longer than I had anticipated. And so we're going to do a speed run of the other accessories that I use with my notebook on an everyday basis that I really like. The first one is this ruler by Midori. It is one of those 
extendable rulers that you know becomes longer so it fits really nicely in my pencil case but it also extends which is fun and also really practical another thing that i use a lot is this whiteout from mono because i make a lot of mistakes and this one is the mono air 5 um you can't really see the the branding on it anymore because i've used it so much but this is one of those like interchangeable cartridge type of whiteout so you can just buy like the inside and keep using the outside so yeah this one's quite old now but it functions great because i keep changing the cartridge. Another thing that I really like is this glue stick called glue. It's very simple. It's literally just a normal glue stick. It just comes in blue so that when you put the glue on, it shows up blue and when it dries, it dries clear. So you can tell how dry the glue is by the color, which is cool. Another thing I use on an almost daily basis are these stickers from Stalogy. It's the company that makes the notebooks that I really like, but these are masking tape circle stickers and I use them to categorize the different pages in my notebook as like kind of like a commonplace type of thing and I have it in three different colors, three different colorways, excuse me, nine colors and yeah they're really handy and really cute. They come in different sizes and different colors so if you want bigger ones, smaller ones, they have the size. I like this kind of medium small size. Another thing that I don't pick up very frequently but I use on an everyday basis because it's on my notebook are these index tabs. They're called film index and yeah they're, they're just like normal film index stickies but they are very sturdy and also very firm i think is the word i'm looking for because when you turn the pages like it doesn't like crinkle up or like bend in any way it stays on the page very well and yeah these are strong tabs i like them to demonstrate how they look like on the notebook this is kind of how they look on the notebook and as you can see they're quite sturdy like they don't really bend even when I like flick them so yeah and last but not least my pencil case of choice right now is this one from Smasta it opens up like so and then there's like a magnet that clicks together and it stands like this so you can take it with you anywhere and have your pencil stand or pencil case stand that's it for this video i hope it was somewhat enjoyable to you and somewhat informative it was mostly me just rambling and talking about my favorite stationery but i had a lot of fun filming it so i i hope the excitement and the funness translates through the screen to you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye